What's up guys, it's Edge, and you are watching Modern Warfare 3 of all things. Um, so the other day I was playing Battlefield 2 with Ghetto. You can see that he's in this match too. And we're kind of like, hey, I'm kind of bored of this. Let's go check out Modern Warfare 3 to see if it got any better since the uh, last time we played it, which was like five months ago. So we go check it out, and we played about four rounds, then it had to go, but it was actually pretty fun, and I did really well in this game, so I decided I might as well show it. Um, I mean, like I said a while back, it always seems to happen that Black, the uh, current Modern Warf or the current uh, Call of Duty, sorry, will uh, get pretty boring. Um, so then we'll always go back one or two versions, play that one for a while. Um, I feel like if I had Black Ops 1, I would be playing that a lot. And also if I had Modern Warfare 2, I was watching Kansas the other day. He had a little clip. Um, I think it was on his video. Yes, it was. Yeah, he was playing PC Modern Warfare 2. I might buy that so I could play with him. And also because that game was really the Call of Duty that I played the most of. Um, it's really where I got uh, hitched to Call of Duty and really attached to it. So um, it would be kind of nostalgic going back. Um, I know it's not probably the best Call of Duty ever made. I'm, I'm guessing Modern Warfare 1 was the best. But... But to me personally, it was my favorite. Um, even though there was crazy noob tubing and quick scoping and all that, you kind of learn to embrace that stuff and just either deal with it or use it yourself. Um, I mean, we all had we all had that stage where we where we wanted to do the noob noob tubing, we wanted to do all that cheap stuff, and uh, I mean, it kept us entertained, even though it was a little bit cheap, and they should have probably fixed it. Um, I mean, it, it's all right. Um, I I feel like I feel like it just gave the game some character almost. <laughs> so um, Call of Duty Ghost is coming out, and I was watching a little a little campaign clip the other day. Um, and it looked kind of interesting. It looked a lot better than I was expecting it to. Um, I'm gonna be honest. The graphics looked probably ten times better than Modern Warfare 3. Um, it's it's not quite like Black Ops 2. It uh it still has more of that affinity ward, um, infinity ward not affinity that's that's Minecraft, <laughs> um, the infinity ward feel to it in that I feel like it has more greens and dark colors like earthy like green brown, black gray darker earthy colors, um, whereas when uh, Treyarch makes theirs they pretty much go all out with like the reds and oranges and all these bright, really rich colors, which you can see in ba uh, Black Ops 2 especially. Um, also, they had it futuristic, so I guess that kind of helps them uh, enforce the the colors. Um, basically, just gives them more reason to use super like vibrant colors. Um, but yeah, so it kind of has that feel. Um, I saw something really cool, like the grass was waving. Um, the water looked all right, you know, he's swimming through the water fishes are swimming around. I mean, that was pretty cool, I guess. It's not like I haven't seen better in other games, but as far as Call of Duty goes, it was pretty top-notch. Um, so that would be a good thing. I'm hoping that the rest of the game is good as well. Um, some things they should fix from Black Ops 2 if they're working off that. Um, they should definitely <laughs> nerf the sh uh, sh sniper rifles a little bit. Those things are getting way OP in Black Ops 2, especially as they started to nerf all the submachine guns down. Um, then the sniper rifles kind of just took charge, and like now they're at the top of the podium, so to say. Um, so I feel like they should take those down a notch. Uh, maybe give assault rifles a bit of a boost because in Black Ops 2 they're probably the weakest weapon class because um, you have. The submachine gun is really good for close quarters, sniper rifles good for medium and long, and then um, light machine guns are also good for medium and long. So you're kind of, with the assault rifles, kind of stuck because you can't, you don't have the mobility of a submachine gun, you don't have the range of a, or a, or a clip size of a light machine gun, and uh, yeah, not the range of a sniper rifle, so you're kind of stuck. Um, but usually in all of Affinity Wards, um, Infinity Wards, uh, games. They always have their assault rifles pretty high up there. I thought in Modern Warfare 2 they did a good job of balancing if they had just taken away grenade launchers. Um, that would have done pretty well. Um, I, and quick scoping, you know, that was a little OP, but to be honest, I didn't mind it, and I had a lot of fun learning how to do it myself. 
I wasn't the best, but it was it was fun. Um, my friends and I would go trick shotting and crazy stuff and jumping off the tower at rust, triple 360s, backflips, no scopes, headshots, collaterals, all that crazy stuff. And I mean, it did. I feel like it did bring a lot more character to the game. Um, it made the game more of like a palette to do whatever you wanted to on it. It was almost more, almost more sandbox, but but not really. <laughs> You know, like, but it gave you more options of what you could do by yourself. It, it created a lot more opportunities to have fun games and things to do, like in private matches. So I did enjoy that a lot. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be good. Now, after going off Modern Warfare 3, I think, I mean, I didn't play that game as much as Black Ops 2, I think, but I, I, what, what should they do better? For sure, they should, uh, I think the snipers weren't uh, good enough, to be honest, in Modern Warfare 3, or maybe they were on par. Um, I can't really think of as many things I could fix from that. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me some comments about <laughs> various versions of Call of Duty, what they should do to improve, etc, etc. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.